Hi, my name is Manalni. I will be uh, uh, discussing the power exchange for TPT recovery session, uh, which is part of power exchange for TPT. So the agenda for this video would be um, the requirements for setting up a power exchange for TPT recovery session. So the session must contain a power exchange for chain data capture source. Then the, con mm, the session uh, needs to use a TPT target with a stream operator. And there is additionally there is a custom property which is required which is called the TPT recovery model which needs to be set to S in the session properties are globally it can be set in the power center integration service the profile of the informatica server needs to have this environmental variable set to one on unix thread on off teradata tpt recovery strategy is the only supported for stream operator TPT stream operator is meant for real time sources. It does not lock the table it is loading into. And TPT stream operator is preferred over uh, Teradata relational table through ODPC because of the locking mechanism. The stream operator does not lock the target tables that are being updated so the interactive read and write activities can be performed concurrently. This feature of the stream operator enables it to perform upgrade operations during periods of every table accessed by other users. Like the other Teradata operators, the stream operator can use multiple sessions and multiple operator instances to process the data from several data sources concurrently. When using TPT stream for the target connection, Informatica creates only one recovery table in the target database, which is the infra recovery table, which maintains the recovery information. So to demo this uh, session, we'll go to the session properties of the CDC session and the TPT stream operator. As we see this informatical session in the workflow manager contains the CDC source which is the change data capture real-time source. When we say real-time source this session would run continuously there will be no stop on the session after the data load. This r session would run continuously. S CDC source is a real-time source where the chain data are being pulled by the source continuously. The session will be running and the data will be moved to the targets. As said, uh, for recovering this uh, real-time session, mm, the best approach would be using with the Teradata integration is used to is Teradata TPT connection with the stream operator. So when we set the Teradata TPT connection as a target with the stream operator, it gives the advantage of no locking. For a real-time session, the commit is uh, decided by the source. The commit type is the source. S what we mean by this is the commit is sent to the targets by the source. source. So there are different strategies when the commit is sent to the target. So when we look at the source connection, we have a UOW count which is unit of work count and reader flush latency. 
so unit of work count is set to 1 which is the idle situation whenever there is a 1 change of data being read by the source system we would like to see the change in the target as soon as the change is done in the source that would be the idle situation with no latency um, for real time sessions whenever there is a transaction on the source change we would like to see the same change in the target system without latency so UOW count 1 means for every one transaction one transaction read by the source system issue a commit to the targets so it's a hard condition between UOW count and the real time flush latency the real flush latency by default is 0 which means 20 milliseconds mm, this is the default so whichever comes first if if one transaction is uh, read before 20 milliseconds then mm, commit would be issued to the target when a commit is issued to the target uh, Teradata gets a checkpoint and this checkpoint is recorded in the in a lock table so so there is a lock table for every target Teradata maintains this lock table for the state of the checkpoint additionally power center has infra recovery table um, which is created in the target database infra recovery table can be created by the session by assigning a re additional relational connection which is a ODBC Teradata connection to the Teradata database so this would create infra recovery table in the start of the session um, uh, this Teradata infra recovery table is only one table for the entire Teradata database and power center maintains the checkpoint in the infra recovery table so real time session when it is recovered because of any failure in the real time session when it is recovered with the recovery strategy like resume from last checkpoint and restarted the session we would need to read the data from the last checkpoint to avoid any duplicate reading of the source data so the ch checkpoint is the interpretation of uh, Teradata as the commit so whichever the last commit issued by the source the data is being read from the source system so this is the requirement of a Mm, recovery strategy for TPT the TPT recovery strategy is supported only with the TPT stream operator and for recovery we require a source as a real time source and the custom flag needs to be set with the TPT model recovery mm, then environmental variable uh, thread on off needs to be set for the informatica service then um, well, like for the best uh, um, idle situation the UOW count has to be the lowest like 1 as shown uh, without any latency the change in the source which is read is seen immediately in the target and infra recovery table um, can be created by the session by providing a ODBC connection or it can be created in the target database before we run the session the syntax to create this infra recovery table is in the available in the power exchange for TPT user guide and going back uh, we have a lot of um, KB articles with the power exchange for TPT stream operator but there is um, KB article which describes the requirements for setting up a power exchange for TPT for recovery 
and Teradata Apparel Transport Guide, which is available on the portal, gives information about the infra recovery table, um, the syntax of the infra recovery table, and also uh, we recommend, as said, to um, create this infra recovery table before and in the Teradata database so the right index can be defined on the infra recovery table. So the recommended infra recovery table would be to create a pri primary index on the rec info to avoid any locking. So we would like to hear from you on this video content. You could email back on the support videos at informatica.com or Mm, uh, uh, our twitter uh, mm, dot com info support thank you